guys, welcome back to Triple F Shooting. Today we are going to be talking about some concealed carry considerations, which is fun to say, for the winter, specifically geared toward the feminine aspect. So we're gonna go through, we've already seen all these guns in her video on all her favorite guns, but we're gonna just kind of go through the types of carry and styles that she has used or has tried recently and just let I keep wanting to say your name and I don't know if that matters to anybody, but let my wife talk about just what she prefers, what works, what doesn't, and just give some general information for any other women out there that are thinking about these particular styles of carry. All right guys, so after seeing just a little bit of shooting, we are going to start talking about the different styles. So we're gonna break this down into two parts, one for on body and one entirely for off body or purse carry in most situations. So I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna let my wife talk about a couple of the on body styles. But um, first I guess, let's slide these <laughs> out the way. And then there's one style. And here's the other. So out of the two of these, which one do you prefer? Honestly, the concealed carry leggings were a preference. Um, the corset is really nice as well, but I did have some issues whenever it came to actually drawing it. I don't know if that was just me or if it was the length of it as opposed to the leggings that hold on the entire body. Um, but definitely between the two, the concealed carry leggings were my favorite. Uh. Thanks, stand by. Uh, Looks pretty good to me. Okay, so as far as the like, leggings holster goes is there anything you don't like so far no i actually really really like them yeah, a lot you're fairly smooth on all your draws mm -hmm. and you haven't really got to practice with it a ton no this is the first time i have shot with it cool so yeah yeah that worked just fine Keeping them all pretty much high chest. Yep. It's for fighting mean. through a whole bunch of jacket. Let's do the cons first of the leggings. If you can come up with any, what are some negative things that you don't like about these? Um, well, the only negative thing that I can say, and it's not anything against the leggings themselves, it's that I'm not gonna be able to wear these in the summer. They're not super thick. It's not that, um, that at all. I'm sure they do make them in thicker versions or whatever it is. These are pretty thin out there shooting. It was probably 30 something degrees and I was freezing. So keep that in mind too. They're not super warm, but whenever it's you know 90 to 100 degrees outside, I'm not gonna be wearing leggings, I'm gonna have on shorts. Um, that is really the only negative thing that I could say about it. Uh, that was, the shooting was the first time that I've ever used these, and I thought it went really well, honestly. Yeah, I um, think so. Uh, yeah. You definitely, out of all the, not to like spoiler alert, but um, she shot best out of the concealed carry leggings. Uh, Position-wise, about where did that put it on your body? I mean, honestly, right under the rib cage, right under the breast, um, and I don't have huge breast, so spoiler alert. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, it, not a huge uh, gun, so again, not concealed crazy amount, but it hit. It is right under the breast, so it does give you a little bit of hide. Uh, I know some people are worried about, you know, the actual concealment part and of it. And yeah, so you can't really see it unless you are really hyper-focused on that area. You really could not tell. Again, especially if in the video, you can't even tell when I'm wearing that big white coat. You can't see no, it yeah, whatsoever. That's one nice thing about winter is it's a lot easier to hide stuff. Right. On the flip side, it's a lot harder to get to your stuff. And we'll get, yeah, we'll get to that with the purses because that's really the right. that's main a huge reason. Benefit there. So. Uh, 
Speaking of the cold though, uh, do you think that you could wear these under a pair of jeans or something like that? If it was that cold, you could still rock your holster and everything and the yes. jeans go over? Yes. That's but funny. you'd have to have a little bit bigger jeans. Right, yeah, because you're gonna feel like a uh, stuffed sausage in those and jeans, yeah. I'd imagine. But if you have a little bit baggier jeans, absolutely. Um, so that's one way to get around that. Um, yeah. Now, these are Dean Adams brand. Uh, they are not terribly cheap. I think the MSRP is like 110 bucks, but we've been looking at them for a really long time and wanted to try them out. They do also make, like I would suggest checking their website out because they have shorts like this that are specifically meant to carry underneath your average everyday clothes. So that's something that maybe summer carry, you could try that out and have, you know, just a short style. So it's more of a, almost a girdle, mm -hmm. but we'll get into that. So, um, another positive and this is silly, but females will understand guys won't at all. The leggings have pockets <laughs> Yeah. and that is huge, honestly. So sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> um, just as far as the construction of them, the leggings themselves are very stretchy, like the Lycra type material. But when you get to the waistline, you still have a lot of stretch, but you have fairly thick elastic. So that was one kind of cool thing I noticed is they are fairly rigid around the waist. Uh, Dean Adams calls it shapewear. So I'm sure women are familiar with that kind of thing, but you have multiple pockets as you go around. Uh, with the elastic kind of all the way around. So if you want to carry a knife, a flashlight, spare mags, we'll clip in pictures and stuff, but you can tell that we have lots of options. And one other thing, we didn't even try it because we already had this. Like the actual belt around it? Yeah, you can do a solid belt if you wanted to. It's gonna put it pretty high for a belt, I would think, but if that's what you're into. Now, attaching holsters, because you can do it without a belt, is done through Velcro. So this is a hard molded holster for the Hellcat with simply a Velcro sticky pad on it that, you know, you're probably going to have to replace that every great once in a while, but you can literally cover that pad, slide it into position wherever you like it. Anywhere. Um, yeah, on left side, right side, however you want to carry. On the back. Yeah, you can go around um, if you're preferring a four o'clock or something like that, but it just goes in and it worked very well. It's very rigid. The Velcro doesn't give. Um, and I would suggest for on body carry a hard molded holster for sure. I don't know about like no. when you were drawing and firing with it, that it was, seemed to be the way to go. Yep. Didn't have any issues with it. The only other negative thing again, and this has nothing to do with the leggings themselves. So really there's nothing negative, but I struggle whenever it comes to carrying my children. So it is literally, I'm shooting right-handed. I When I pick up my kids, I'm holding them in my right hand primarily. Yep. So they sit literally right where the where the gun is at. Um, yeah, so for small children on body is kind of difficult. Again, and again, that's nothing against the leggings themselves, but when it comes to being a female, we have different things to kind of worry about whenever it comes to yeah. carrying. And as honestly. the kids get older, that it's, will be less of an issue, yes. but right now they're right now. quite young. So, yep. okay, anything else you wanna say about the leggings? Um, worth the money. So these leggings do come with a soft holster included in the price of the pant. This isn't anything special. It's literally just kind of a thin chunk of nylon that uh, is definitely made for smaller handguns. We're clear on the Hellcat, but you can see Hellcat fits real well. But again, it, it's keeping you out of the trigger guard. You're not going to do anything like that, but there is no form to this. It's just kind of a placeholder that lets it sit a little better in the pocket. So not my first pick. That's why we went with a molded. So gets you a little better off there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the pros and cons to the um, corset. Now we're on the corset. Um, it's pretty much in the exact same spot that the leggings was holding it, right on the right side here. Um, if you're left-handed, you can do it on either side. The only difference between the corset and the leggings is that you cannot wrap it around the back on this corset like you can right, on the leggings. Can't go from like a four o'clock or no, nope. Okay. That one got hung up. Hung up in your shirt? No, that was actually hung up in the corset. Oh, what part of it? 
back here. Oh, the grip the, actually, you got the grip tucked? Yep. That's something to keep in mind. Yep. Um, again, I liked the concealed carry leggings better, but there is nothing wrong with the corset. Um, you do have uh, adjustments on how tight that you're going to make it. I mean, it's a corset, so females are familiar with that it's similar shape. similar like, um, almost like bra class or something. Yeah. Right? Like just a whole bunch of clips. Yep. Um, again, you have, you don't have anything on the back, all right? So you can't, um, do four o'clock or anything like that with carrying, but you do, you can either do your left hand or right hand side on carry. Again, we have the uh, Velcro straps on the inside. I didn't have any issues whenever it came to shooting it, pulling the gun out until, I, see, I'm not even 100% sure if I was catching it up on the top, if it was the butt of the gun, if it was catching on my actual bra. There were, I was just struggling with this a little bit more when it came to shooting as opposed to the leggings. Now one thing I was thinking about because you can kind of experience this in any holster when you have a hard molded you know, level one retention, the whole point of that holster is it grabs around the trigger guard or what have you, and you have to defeat, basically stretch that holster out or let it widen to get the gun out. And that's what keeps it from falling out of your, you know, your stuff. Well, that would make sense what I was if, doing. If that thing or that hard mold holster has any ability to wiggle which on its does. mount, which this, this was does, moving yeah. a lot, and you're coming from really high up, I almost think that what you're running into is the draw. You couldn't quite get straight enough, long enough, to, you know, without smacking yourself almost to get the gun out. And it was this was shifting around a little bit. So if you're pulling straight out and it shifts, now you're not pulling in the right direction anymore. So I think some of that was just due to we were using a hard mold holster pretty high up. We could have eased off the tension or we could have even gone with a soft holster so it keeps it in place. I think also too, I didn't just have this on against my skin or my pants. I had this on yeah, over layers. the leggings. So the leggings are very, I didn't really explain this part. So I don't want to say that they're thin because they're not thin, but they're very slick. Yeah. So I think that yeah, might've played, up yeah, that might've played a little bit into it as well. So yeah, so it might be worth Well, I know way, way before whenever I was shooting pre-kids, yeah. we did a couple drills with that and I don't remember having that That issue. was no holster. Yeah. Now oh, yeah, this thing was. does have, you can see the seam here and we can show the picture again but on that seam you basically have like a channel here so that and this was the gun we were doing that with this is a commander sized nine millimeter 1911 so the negatives here are many but because you never actually really carried this mm -mm. in this form because it just again with children coming this is kind of a problem so i do have a safety and i have wings on the safety with no holster even though i'm in the channel so the gun would ride just like that but this was easy to turn off. Um, Super easy. Which was kind of a problem. Now, getting to your gun this way, you can get all the way around the grip. This is soft, it just gives way, and you were able to get out and on the thing fairly quickly. Definitely need a holster. I don't ever recommend, uh, it gets called Mexican carry sometimes where people just tuck the gun in their pants or in a pocket or something like that. Uh, if you are going to carry responsibly, you really ought to have holster. So this does also have Velcro, capable compartment so you can put in your slip holster with the velcro on it will stay in position in there you can kind of adjust where it sits or you can put in that hard mold but again the hard mold actually seems to be way more difficult at this height and with it potentially moving on you so that's one good point if it had been on your skin it might have been easier right but anyway yep. uh any other pros to this i know this is also like a shapewear. It's yeah. very padded, so yeah, I it's, imagine it's, it's comfy. comfortable. Yeah, it didn't. It doesn't make you feel itchy, anything like that. The same with the leggings. Um, both of them are a very soft material. I mean, it's pretty. I guess it gets hot in the summer, though. Um, polyester kind of nylon blend or something like that. Yeah, so it's no, I don't wicking. think it actually would be that bad. Um, they do make summer versions that are lighter and a whole lot thinner. So, you know, if I mean, you're worried about that. Thin. Honestly, yeah. it's thicker up front, thin in the back. Yeah, padded where the gun yep. is to keep you from. Yeah, I don't think printing. that would be too bad of an issue with it, honestly. 